Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This controller, um, this is my son's controller, guys, and when when he would push up, it would it would stick. Not literally stick up like that, but it would stick up as far as scrolling on the screen. So we found a solution to this and I'm gonna show you. When you turn the controller upside down, you've got four screws, one, two, three, four. As you can see, I've already taken the screws out to save time. So literally, you need a very small screwdriver and believe it or not, this screwdriver came from Christmas crackers so yeah basically that that's what I'm using so once you've done that you need to prise this open I'll start off at the bottom and get that little release there as you can see now this came apart quite easily because obviously I've already taken it apart to repair it so that that comes off but but generally what you need to do is what I used was a big flathead screwdriver and, and you prise it along the top here here and also the other side that's where this is where the clips are you want to prise here and you also want to prise here so once you've done that it releases the bottom of the controller now inside there as you can see there's a ribbon so you literally just pull that out with your fingers and that releases that now this is the part I found the trickiest it was getting this out now all the other videos just said to me that you just clip it out but in, in this case, it's not, it's not. You, the battery literally just slides out. Pull the battery out of your fingers. Then you undo this screw here. The same, um, it's the same screwdriver as you used on the other screws. All right, so you basically just unscrew that and that releases this plate. Take that out and just put it to one side. Basically then you've got another couple of clips there's a clip here, clip here, basically almost the same as the other side uh, is, get, is getting the bottom off. You, you literally clip, clip, clip. Like I say, this is doing it, it's, it, it's easy for me because I've already taken it apart. And that way then, you, slide, you, can, you can pull this out. Like that. All right, so you pull that out of there. As you can see, the top pad actually hooks over the top of the controller there, see? So you need to push that through there and that will completely release it. So as far as the sticks go, you just pop these off. One, two, depending on which one um, of yours is faulty. What I did was, I got the Hoover, and it was the left stick which was sticking on, on, on this particular controller. So what I did was I basically just hoovered inside this. To suck any rubbish out basically. Then what I did was turn it upside down and just flick the controller different ways so that if there's anything inside there stuck it will release. Just give it a little flick. We didn't have any problems with the other side, but just as well do that whilst whilst you're here. And flick it about. And basically anything that's stuck inside there then will dislodge. Then get your hoover and hoover it again. I chose this fitting because it's got a little brush on the end, obviously. And, and you can brush, get the bristles inside and suck any rubbish out. Now before we put it back together, obviously we want to put our sticks back on. There's a certain way they need to go on, so just line them up and pop them on. As you can see there, line it up. Just turn it a little bit until it just slots on, easy as peas. Then you grab, then you need to, this is the trickiest part of all, is to get this over the top of there. It's, I don't know whether, how well you can see that. But you need to get that over the top of the white uh, bar that's going across there. 
the uh, actual case in. Once you've once you've done that, the controller literally just gently just pries it back together like that, and then once this is sitting all flush, you then want to flip it back over. And once you flip it over, you literally just push it in. Just be gentle. There's nothing there. There's nothing, no clips or anything. So just be gentle. If it won't go in, this is obviously not lined up properly. Once you've done that, you literally put that back in there and tighten the screw back up. Now we didn't disconnect the battery. I, I didn't feel the need to disconnect the battery, but that would be straightforward enough. You'd literally just pull that out of there. Maybe just a little price on that and, and pop that out of there. But like I say, I, I didn't need to do that. And then you have that. Next thing you need to do, another little tricky bit, fiddly bit with your fingers, is get the ribbon back in there. But like I say, it's not, it's not too difficult. As you can see, the controller have just come on. The light has just come on there. This little plastic screen here needs to slide in the back in behind there, like that. Pretty straightforward from here, guys. Now you literally clip that back together. Just make sure your buttons are working. Yeah, that's all moving nicely. Now what I did was I took this upstairs to the PlayStation and tried it before I put the screws in, hence the screws being out. So then once you've done that, you literally flip it back over and you put your four screws back in. They're fiddly little screws. Take your time and it will screw in there nicely. And that is it. Basically, that's it. You have just saved yourself, well, £50 minimum, I would have said. We were just about to order one of these online and I said to Kai, before we do, let's strip it down and have a look. Basically, the only thing I can think is maybe there was a bit of grit or something stuck inside there. And when you pushed up, it caused it to jam. But it worked for us guys, 100%, absolutely brilliant. Save 50 pound, job done. Guys, I hope this video was a help to you and I hope it works for you as well as it did for us. And you can save yourself 50 pound because at the end of the day, it was the only thing that was wrong with it was this controller here. And that solved it. Just a bit of hoover, a little bit of flicking and release whatever was stuck inside there. And that's that. Guys, thank you for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Right, let's get and play. The G's family vlog.